The Venice Film Festival has acquired a reputation of intellectual event for cinema experts. The nominees have to meet the highest standards. The Golden Line has never been awarded to the same director more than three times. The Golden Line and the Silver Line are not the only prizes. Tom Hooper's A King's Speech has won the critics' respect. This time, the director once again finds inspiration in a real biography. The first time we met, she propositioned me. She seemed so sure. I was sure. He was so shy and mysterious. The plot of his new film, The Danish Girl, is based on the real-life story of Danish artist Einar Wegener. Exactly what happened last night? There was a moment when I wasn't me. There was a moment when I was just... Lily. But Lily doesn't exist. We were playing a game. Something changed. The main roles are performed by Edge Redmine and Alicia Vikander. I have to let him go. I love you because you're the only person who made sense of me made me possible. tonight to event the event. So can you tell us why do you like this magazine? I think it's the best magazine we have in Italy because it's uh, about uh, in young people, fashion, but also cinema. That's very important for me, for my job. I'm an actress. And of course, uh, culture. So I mean, you can have uh, everything, sport. It's very fresh and very new, every edition. What we are doing here is celebrating Roxanne Lowit. Uh, she is a very famous photographer and she comes from New York and uh, you can see over there all their images shooted for Vanity Fair. We're doing tonight the, my movie that I produced and direct on, it's called Roxanne Lowett Magic Moments, and it's on the photographer Roxanne Lowett, that everybody knows her images, the iconic images of the three supermodels, Naomi, Christie, and Linda, that say, I don't want to see, I don't want to hear. And so it's a documentary about her, about her life, and who is she for me. Tell us about the relations between the fashion and the cinema. Fashion and cinema, they are so linked since ever, you know. The idea of a star doesn't work without a nice dress. And so uh, I think that uh, it's really complementary. And whatever uh, excited happened in fashion 
you can see in the cinema world and the opposite. Today is a very important day for you. And can you tell us about just role of Vanity Fair magazine in your career? I first did Vanity Fair before they opened. I did the first issue. Um, I photographed the Venice Film Festival, which was wonderful. It was my first time in Venice, and it was very exciting to be in Venice. And I photographed Maria Kahlo and Ricardo Tisci, and lots of the stars, and uh, they did a big article. It was really a fun, fun shoot. Can you tell us just about your relationships with Roxana? She did beautiful portraits of great girls like Isabella Rossellini, like Emily Watson. She did a great job for us. Vimovok Baji has a prominent place in the business schedule of a Venice Film Festival. There is no doubt that the most stylish and most famous man won't miss this event. All the covers which we see out there, do you have a favorite one? I don't have a favorite one because uh, it's like when you have to choose uh, which is your favorite child. Every single cover represents a moment and every single moment represents even an, a movie or a specific kind of uh, uh, way to be in that moment, socially, economically, politically. So I think that uh, there are so many things that uh, are in each cover, the stories that you know backstage. Well, this is uh, a man walk, but out there we see some women also on the covers. Yes. Why is it so? Because I think that uh, women, uh, I mean men, like women, and uh, I don't see anything to see a woman in a, on the cover of a man uh, magazine. So I, I think that sometimes they even represent better at the moment, like Kate Blanchett, or not only because she was the award winner, but uh, I think it was great. all the time about fashion icons, but mostly among women. But if talking about men, who do you think is a fashion icon? Johnny Depp, I guess. People seem to pay attention to what he's wearing. You have seen already the exhibition of Lumovok, and uh, how do you find it? I found it very interesting. I mean, uh, of course, uh, I always admire the work of Vogue to tell uh, not only about uh, uh, the image of a person, but I think something also inside the person. You can tell from the pictures that uh, this person is uh, not famous just because he's famous. He's famous because he is a special. 